Hi, I'm Mike Jolin, and I'm really Santa Claus, but if you don't believe that, just kind of hang on, and uh, uh, we'll have a visit. Uh, uh, I need some help. I only get to give presents away one day a year, so I'd like you to consider creating something every day or two and giving it away. So Christmas in the future will be about for, for, about giving and forgiving. Now, if you get a if you get a toy uh, from someone you don't know, you'll love the toy for a while, but it will not love you back. Now, if you get a toy from your mom or your dad or your cousin or a friend, you will develop a relationship with that person, and over a period of time, you'll develop a lovingness, uh, and that is much more permanent than the little joy you'll get from a toy. Now, I happen to do some art. I'm going to show you one way of doing some art. And uh, th these are samples. Uh, they're relatively simple. You're going to put, you're going to do a, a background, and then we're going to put a symbol. This happens to be a symbol of a, of a uh, spirit or a person uh, coming out of uh, the dark. And, uh, Eventually, you'll put a title with that and some language, and you'll sign it and you'll date it. And I'm going to show you how you take a, a macrame hoop like this, use some bed sheet material. I want you to take a sponge brush, and instead of learning all the colors, just go, you, you go from light to dark. And you're going to put your symbol on the light portion of the background. So you're going to spray water. Of this, of this spray bottle, and you're going to you're going to apply some some white as the first color, okay? And you're going to take the next color, and you're going to use house paint or whatever paint you happen to have. You don't have to get special paints for this. This is and now you're going to do a darker color. These happen to be the paints that I have, and and that I got from my friend or somebody who finished a house project. And what you're seeing is here that you're making a background against which you're going to be able to put a symbol and eventually tell a story with it. Now, I happen to uh, use one brush and I happen to kind of mix my colors uh, right on the canvas. So, and if they're not blending very well, you just put a little more water and pretty soon you'll get used to the way you like it. Now, remember, with art, there are no mistakes. The purpose of art is the enjoyment of the audience. If you make a painting and you give it to your mom or your dad and they like it, the purpose of the art is the enjoyment of the audience, okay? So don't be hard on yourself or judge yourself. Uh, what you do is find the colors that you have, the ones you like, and now I'm going to put a little black just for border, but you don't have to do that. This is even a darker color. Oh, this color obviously picked up some water, so you might not like that, but it's all right. You blend your colors in, and then eventually what you do, we'll try to put a symbol on there that was kind of like the one that, the one that we had earlier uh, that I showed you. So... I'll have to use a darker color for the symbol, so I'm going to go. Here's a little head, and there's a there's a figure of a maybe a um, person coming out of adversity. Then you put your name on it, and eventually you put a date on it. And next time I see you, we'll do a different craft. Now, I have one other lesson. This is a geography lesson here is a world map, and here is the United States, here's Florida, here's Cuba, and here is Honduras, a beautiful community of people, and their community is called Garifuna, or Garifuna, where slaves who were released in the late 1700s and 1800s came, and they have communities with many of the habits that they had uh, back in Africa when they were brought over in the early 1500s. And my only story to you is, as you grow up, you guys and your friends vote for those leaders that you think are doing the right thing. Have a very nice day. We'll see you next time. Thank you.